Hi, Tamal. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Now, congratulations are in order first. This is the third time you're getting it right, or the fourth time. Right. You predicted a 35 basis point, and it's a 35 basis point that we see. Do you foresee other changes coming? Uh, and what do you foresee in the next meeting? That's the important question. Thanks. Uh, first is, um, um, yes, I got it right, but no, not everything fully. Uh, I got the 35 pips hike right. I got the inflation and change also right, but I got the growth projection wrong. I mean, Reserve Bank of India has actually paired its growth projection for the year uh, from 7 to 6.8%, so which was not on my radar. Governor also has explained that um, this is uh, risk evenly balanced. So, it it is 6.8 percent but doesn't necessarily mean that it will be restricted to 6.8 percent it could spill over to 6.9 or even 7 uh, but i think it's a very conservative estimate the other question you asked is this what to expect now i will uh, i will ask you to uh, look at the three very critical paragraphs of this uh, of this particular statement i'm looking at para 7 it says on balance, the MPC was of, of the MPC was of the view that further calibrated monetary policy action is warranted to keep inflation expectation anchored, break core inflation persistence, and contain second round effects. MPC was of the view. I have seen all the experts are talking about as if this is this is talking about future that the MPC is in favor of calibrated monetary policy action. This is exactly the genesis of the rate hike, right? So MPC is yeah. not of the view. It is was of the view before taking this current 35 pips call. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Now, if that gives us encouragement that this is the end of the rate hike, this is not, then I'm drawing your attention to two other points. One is this statement, Point number 15, it says GDP growth in India remains resilient and inflation is expected to moderate, expected to moderate, but the battle against inflation is not over. I repeat, battle against inflation is not over. Mm -hmm. And finally, para 30, the course of our future policy will duly consider new data releases and the evolving outlook of the economy as well as the effect of our past actions. I will not be, personally, I will not be surprised if there is yet another rate hike in February by 25 basis points. Because we are talking about the positive real interest rates, a thing that comes to my mind is the transmission into deposit rates on the deposit side. Is there a need for faster transmission of rates from banks? Yeah, but uh, again, I'm going back to the Bank of India's uh, governor's statement. Uh, I think our perception is not exactly correct. Um, uh, indeed, we need faster transmission, but uh, I'm also surprised to see that the transmission in deposits is faster than transmission in loan. Uh, look at this, what he says that um, governor said, uh, May 22, the weighted average lending rate on fresh and outstanding rupee loans have increased by 117 bips and 63 bips respectively during the period between May to October. On the deposit side, the rates have gone down, gone up by 150 bips and 60 bips respectively. Mm -hmm. So while the loan rates have, new loan rates have gone up, for new loans have gone up by 117 bips, new deposits have gone up actually by 150 bips. So it's not that banks are stingy and not not moving. They are they are raising, and I would like to believe yes, we have not seen the end of the deposit rate hike. We will see a little more. On to the last question. Now I remember Raghuram Rajan at some point of time coming and answering that I'm not a Dow, I'm not a hawk, I'm Raghuram Rajan. I do what I do. Is RBI dovish or hawkish right now? You have come. You have come very. <laughs> you have come very, very close to it um, about the reference to Raghuram Rajan, and I'm going to. I'm going to refer. I'm going to refer to what Rajan had said. Um, there have been discussions um, post policy announcement. If there is dovish on office, certainly, if you look at this market, is of the opinion that it is 
he is uh, slightly more hawkish than what he was expected. 35 bips rate hike uh, is on the expected line, but there was expectation that we would see that it's the sort of we are nearing the end of the rate hike cycle. Certainly is not a doubt. Is he a hawk? Some of them can say, but I would say again, I'm quoting um, Dr. Jalan and his deputy at that time, who later, later became RBI governor, Ujit Patel. He's an owl. He's an owl. I'm quoting that. In 2014, January, Reserve Bank of India governor, then governor Raghuram Rajan, surprised the market with, with a hike in interest rate. And then asking um, uh, you know, questions of the reporters, he took to ornithology to explain the policy stance, saying that we are neither hawks nor dogs. We are actually owls. He is uh, keeping a very strict vigil. You and I can afford to sleep, but he's keeping a very close vigil. And uh, he will get it right. Uh, I would think that uh, he and his team, the MPC, if there is a requirement, be prepared in February for yet another 25 years. And then you can say that, okay, he's no more howl, no more, no more hawk. Probably he might sound marginally dovish at that point of time. Got your point. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your time. It was great talking to you. We hope to see you in the walk, talk to you again next week. Thank you. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views, and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that lets success so high. I will achieve. Trusted Bank, SBI, the banker to every Indian.